Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and it is a dreary, dreary, tired day outside. And it's leaving me feeling a little under-inspired, shall we say. I came in and I was like, I gotta upload a video for today. What should I do? And I looked at what was in queue and I was like, I don't want to do any of that. And then I looked around like, well, I could go through the pack of patterns I didn't go through last time. Kind of don't want to do that. Kind of don't want to do much of anything. And then I thought about the end of my weekly roundup and how I was rambling on and on about all those yarns that were potential sweaters for my husband, Brian. I thought he... He's going to say, oh, honey, do whatever you think's best. I mean, I'll run them past him. You know I will. But I want to get your input as well. Which one do you think would be the perfect sweater for Brian? But before we get into that, I'm going to do day two of my spring stitch markers from Miss Ellie Leva. I think I forgot to tag her on the initial opening one, but I love Miss Ellie. You guys know this. She does fabulous stitch marker sets, and she even puts them in these little packages so we can open one a day. They are, oh, that is so cute. Okay, I got distracted. Anyway, she presents it beautifully. The stitch markers are beautiful. I am swimming in stitch markers, but I don't care. I can't not get them. Although I do resist sometimes. <laughs> So this is a beautiful yellow butterfly with pink beads on it. Look at how cute that is. I love it. Okay, so that is day two. I will get it on a thingy and show you one and two. So I've got a gnome and a butterfly so far. Beautiful. Thank you, Ellie. Wonderfully done as usual. Okay, so I talked about potentially four yarns, although I was saying one, I was really holding for a sweater for myself. Um, but I am pretty darn sure I got a bunch of them in mystery boxes because they were clearancing out this color. Where they are is another question because you know about the storage boxes. <laughs> so the rest is in a storage box. Which one we'll find when we find. Um, but we'll look at that one first because you guys are like, oh, that is the perfect one. I will, of course, give this yarn up for my husband and find a new yarn for that sweater because who knows when I'll even get to that sweater. So it's Navy Silver Lion Brand Scarfy, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 312 yards per. They call it a five, but it's roving. In my experience, it tends to be a bit more four-ish. Um, 78 acrylic, 22% wool, machine wash, cool. Lay flat to dry, made in Turkey. They want a 5.5 millimeter knitting needle and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Do not triangle, lay flat. Oh yeah, lay flat to dry, lay flat to dry. All right, for a second I was like, wait a second. Did they, are those conflicting instructions? No, um, you can iron apparently. And you can pee, which pee means um, when there's a pee circled or an A circled, that is the dry cleaning chemical you can use. It's just more fun you can say when you say you can pee on it. So here it is. There's a beautiful colorway and then the other end because they look slightly different because of the color changing tendencies. So yeah, this is the one I was intending to make a sweater that Bag o Day designed using that, but I've had it for a long time and that sweater has not yet been made. So the other ones I was talking about was I have a couple bonus bundles here in Centaur from Mandala. So Mandala bonus bundles. And here's the color Centaur. It's a very vintagey. This is looking a little purpley on my screen. It's definitely more of a navy. There you go. And then this kind of mustard and then tans and then a red orange and then browns it's very pretty um these are 10.5 ounces 300 grams 1181 yards 1080 meters machine washable and dryable 100 acrylic 
lightweight three, 3.75 millimeter knitting needles and a five millimeter crochet hook. Do not triangle, do not iron, you may pee. Centaur. I said made in Turkey, right? I think so. Anyway, so this is option two. Very pretty, very pretty. And then option three, I was talking about some cookie yarn I had from Hobby. This is an old, old label. And it's these lovely blues. It's The blues are a little brighter on screen. The dark here is more of a dark navy. And the lighter is more of a sky blue in person. Not quite as bright. And this is... Oh, these are tiny. 100% acrylic, made in India. 5mm knitting needles, 4.5 to 5mm crochet hook. Uh, wash at 40 degrees, do not iron, P, do not triangle, do not dry, lay flat to dry. I have color 46205. And I think, did I say everything? Yeah, made in India. It's all the OEKO techs certified. It doesn't actually say what weight it is but to me it is roving style and it looks a bit on the three weight side which with those crochet hook and knitting needle suggestions I think yeah three four is what I would use what is what I would use using those sizes if that makes sense I think that is so pretty I think that would look great on Brian as well let me know if you think that would be the best one or I had some winter glow that I had purchased and I mentioned I got um winter glow and Minaya in very similar colorways I have more of the winter glow than I do Minaya and I bought um two balls of a solid to use as a contrast because my idea was a vest and I don't know why I bought as much as this as I did thinking it was going to be a vest for myself. Um, I think it was probably a good sale and I was leaving my options open. So this is Winter Glow. It's 51% acrylic, 51% wool, 41% acrylic. This is again a hobby yarn. Um, 200 grams, 7.05 ounces. Um, 700 meters, 765 yards. They want a 5 millimeter knitting needle and crochet hook. They're calling it a four weight. It's roving. And I am definitely seeing bits here where I would call it more of a... I'm seeing twos. Um, twos, threes, fours. I'm not in picking through it here. I'm seeing like some smush down spots where I'm like, oh, maybe that's a five. But then when I pull it up, it's definitely a, a four. So wash at 30 degrees, do not dry, you can iron, do not triangle, don't bleach. You can pee, lay flat to dry. I have color three. That's pretty true to life there. Eh, okay, now we're blowing out. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, that's not true to life anymore. <laughs> So it's got greens, it's got blues, it's got rusts, it's got browns, it's got various shades of blues. Um, it's got maybe something I'd call a teal. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's very, it's color changing. Please don't blow out again. It's going to blow out again, isn't it? Um, it's very variable. And then I got in the solids, I have two of these. Um, it is Winter Glow Solid, same stats color 24 it's kind of a curry color and I thought that was a fun contrast like it's still in the same family but goes pretty well and I can see that color in it there so you're pulling a color that is pretty much in the ball out for a, a coordinating contrast I guess we'll call it so what would you do knowing that he's going to say, do what you think is best? I don't know. Decision paralysis is real. Also, this, 
I'm not going to start this sweater very soon. I've got a, a number of sweaters on the hooks, but I like to, I'm going to have project bags open soon. And when I have an open project bag, I like to put the yarns for another project in it so I can grab and go. So I will get this set up as a going concern to make in the near future. We'll see. Although I will say I'm building new project bags and I'm setting them on top of the old ones. So the older projects are sliding to the bottom of the pile. You know how that works. Um, so maybe I need to flip the pile here. Oh, my battery is yelling at me. So that is enough time for talking for me. I will see you guys later. Let me know your thoughts in the not in the description box. I write that. You write comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I would love to hear them. I'd love to hear them. Okie dokie. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!